Hi everybody, I am That Nursing Prep and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the medication class benzodiazepines. These are also commonly referred to as benzos. So let's get into it. So what do they do? How do they work? They decrease the central nervous system by potentiating the effects of GABA. And just a little refresher on what's GABA. So GABA is the chief inhibitory neurotransmitter. So it decreases neuronal excitability and it regulates muscle tone. So basically, this is the neurotransmitter in your body that sends the message that everything needs to calm down. So benzodiazepines, what they do is they help bring that up. They go, yeah, 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 we really like what you're doing, GABA, do more of it. So inhibit more, we want you to inhibit more. That's how that works. So who is somebody that might benefit from this type of medication? Somebody who has too much neuronal excitability. So disorders like insomnia, anxiety or panic disorders, seizures. We can also use it for like anesthetic sometimes. So if you're getting what they call conscious sedation, like an endoscopy, a bronchoscopy, things like that. They might use this medication for that. Um, they might be used as a muscle relaxant and it can be used for alcohol withdrawal, those going through withdrawals to kind of calm them down while they go through the withdrawal a little bit more safely. I wanted to show a few examples of the different medication names because I think you'll see a theme here. So Ativan is also called the Razapam, that's the generic name. Valium is also called diazepam. So if you're seeing a theme here, right, they all end in AM. Not every single benzodiazepine will end in AM. There are a few others that don't, but the majority of them do. So that's going to be a nice little clue for you if you're taking an exam and you see something like clonazepam and they're asking you about it, you're going to go, oh yeah, that's a benzo. It ends in AM. So that's gonna help you remember what class of med this is and how it works in the body. And a lot of these are probably generic names you've heard of. So things like Xanax and Versid. Some adverse effects, things to watch out for. These are very dangerous medications, so we need to assess our patients very thoroughly. Looking for things like drowsiness, lethargy, hallucinations, hypotension, bradycardia, syncope, respiratory depression or respiratory distress. And then the big ones, you've probably already thought of them, tolerance and dependence. So unfortunately, sometimes this is a medication that can be abused by patients. So careful monitoring of that as well. Now let's talk about some important patient teaching. You need to avoid alcohol and other CNS depressants while on this medication. If you're a new mom, breastfeeding is contraindicated with this medication. We recommend taking this with food to help with absorption. Never abruptly stop. This is very, very dangerous. So if you no longer wish to be on this class of medication, you need to discuss that with your doctor so that they can monitor you and you can safely taper off. And unfortunately, this particular class of meds has a lot of interactions. So it interacts with alcohol, MAOIs, anticoagulants, antidepressants, uh, digoxin, oral contraceptives. So lots of interactions there. So we need to tell your doctor if you're taking any of these other medications while you're taking this one. And then you need to avoid certain activities. One of the big effects of a lot of these meds is like sedation okay, or hypnotic effects where you're kind of out of it, you're kind of sleepy and you're not really there. Things like driving, operating heavy machinery, that's not safe to do under the influence of these medications. So avoid unsafe activities. Along with patient education, some other nursing responsibilities include monitoring their vital signs, their weight, and any laboratory values, providing a safe environment for the patient, if you're going to give an IV form of the medications, do so slowly. For example, Versid. Versid is a medication we can give IV, but if we give it too quickly, it can cause cardiac arrest. So we need to be very careful about that. 
we need to assess their neurological and respiratory status. And it's important to remember that this is a controlled substance, so there are safety measures that come into play with that. That can include, if you're gonna waste any of it, you have to do so with another nurse who has to sign off on it. You have to do med counts, so you have to count the number of medications you're pulling out of like the Pyxis or whatever you have that stores your medications. So we just have to be safe about it because there is potential for abuse of these medications. So we wanna assess the patient for signs of overuse or abuse, and then signs of toxicity as well. A way you can remember the signs of toxicity is sad. So S is for slurred speech. A is for altered mental status. So decreased level of consciousness, confusion, agitation. And then D is for decreased respirations. So of course we wanna monitor their respiratory system to make sure that they're still breathing, right? Because this can cause over sedation. So that was my video on benzodiazepines. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.